The network MIDI options that are included on all Macs for free is an incredible, incredible way to quickly and easily connect one computer to another using nothing but an ethernet cable. But if you've got a newer Mac or you're using a newer OS like Mojave or even higher, it's possible you went to audio MIDI setup and had no clue where network MIDI is. Hey everybody, this is Will Doggett. Today we are going to take a look at how to find Apple's network MIDI settings on Mojave and higher OS systems for Mac. So let's get started. All right, so like I mentioned in the intro, and man, I've talked about this so many times before on this channel, um, the network MIDI that's built into every Mac is an incredibly, incredibly useful tool when we're connecting multiple machines together. We don't have to go buy um, extra MIDI gear. We don't have to go buy another audio interface with a, a five pin MIDI input. Um, and we can use ethernet cables, right? It's an incredible, incredible easy way to connect multiple machines together. If you've never done it before, I've included a link below uh, on how to connect connect two Macs together um, that's going to walk you through that process. Free tutorial. It's a great way to get started. But I hear from people often that reach out that are newer to using network MIDI. Maybe they have a brand new Mac and they go, hey, I watched your, your videos before. I watched your tutorials before. I have no clue where this is. What do I do? And so this tutorial is for you. So let's talk about how to do this. Um, one, let's talk about how to get to audio MIDI in the first place. So what I'm going to do on my Mac is do command space bar which opens Spotlight, or you can go up here to this uh, magnifying glass, upper right hand corner, click that. We're gonna type Audio MIDI Setup. I'm gonna hit Enter, okay? Now the first time you go to Audio MIDI Setup, I mentioned this in all the videos and uh, the impatient YouTubers uh, get frustrated because I don't get to the point. But in case you've never done this before, first time you open Audio MIDI Setup, um, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you go to the MIDI Studio tab. So if you don't see what I see right now, you're gonna wanna go up to Window, and uh, go to show MIDI studio. Okay. So this is what it would look like for you. Window show MIDI studio, and that's going to show your MIDI studio. Now pro tip, something I do because I'm in the MIDI studio far more than I'm in the audio studio is I go to command comma, that's preferences, command comma. I go to general and I choose when application launches and I select only open specific windows and I choose MIDI window. Okay. That means every time I open audio MIDI studio, it's going to take me there because I'm there far more often again than I am audio. Now, if you go to the MIDI studio, what you've seen previously is you find network MIDI here and all this mess of all these things and you get about your business, go along, right? And go throughout the rest of your day. You're good to go. And in case you're wondering what this is, this is every MIDI, uh, MIDI device you've ever connected to your computer before. So you see a lot of stuff here based on what it is. These are all the things, uh, MIDI devices you've ever connected to your computer before. But as soon as we hit, I believe it's Mojave, that's what I'm on here. Um, suddenly the option that popped up to show network MIDI studio is no longer there. And everyone freaked out and went, where is it? I can't find it. Um, let me show you exactly where it is. There's two ways to get to it on your computer. Probably the, the easiest way and it's the most consistent way, no matter what size your screen is here, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a moment, is to go up to MIDI Studio and go down to the bottom of the screen and go to Open MIDI Network Setup. Okay, and then when you do that, you'll see your MIDI network setup that you're used to seeing in all previous OSs, right? Okay, so again, the way to get there is to go to MIDI Studio and we want to go to Open MIDI Network Setup, right? And that's going to take us to that window. Now, the other way to get there is to click this globe icon. So if you go to the MIDI Studio tab, you see Bluetooth, and then right next to it, we see the globe. If we click that, that's going to take us to the MIDI network setup. Now, if for some reason your window is smaller than mine is, you're going to see that globe disappear, right? So it disappears for a moment. We get this more icon, click there, and then we do configure devices and open MIDI network setup, right? And then that's going to take us there. So that's a look at uh, how we can get to the MIDI network setup on um, Mojave or any version uh, after that. Uh, using our Mac. And again, so much cool stuff we can do with the mid network stuff. We just got to find it. And this is how we can find it. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about using Ableton Live or using your computer on stage for a live performance, or maybe even going from the studio to the stage or from the stage to the screen 
for live streaming, then check out from studio to stage.com. Uh, you could go there and check out uh, everything we have there, all the courses, all the content. Um, you get access to every preset patch template that I've ever created. It's available there um, on the site as well. And we have a fantastic community private Facebook group where you can ask any question. You don't have to figure this out on your own. You don't have to uh, learn all this stuff on your own. We have a fantastic supportive community uh, there that you can learn from. So um, to get access to all that and so, so much more, head to from studio to stage.com. And again, you can start a free seven day trial. So again, thanks so much for watching everybody. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye.